Hi, welcome to the Purple Ladder. Yes, we're enjoying another beautiful day. Well, not too beautiful, a little bit cloudy. It's been raining. But today we want to talk about Raspberry Beret. Do something a little different. The video. Yes, uh, first of all, I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Hey, punch that notification button and you can always get my videos. Um, we're trying to reach 1K and keep this journey going. But yes, we're on 1985 and we're on Around the World in a Day. One of my favorites, as I call the classic Prince era, where you get a lot of of his best work, classic work, uh, some of his greatest albums, and now you're gonna see Prince really do what he wanna do. Yeah, and Raspberry Beret, this is the story of the video. All right, let's get to a few things. The video for Raspberry Beret for the song was filmed on June 5th, 1985 at Sire in Los Angeles. It was directed, primarily directed by Prince with animation created by Colossal Pictures co-founder Drew Takashi. It combines footage of Prince and the revolution performing the song surrounded by dancers and overlaid with various animation. The video music uses extended versions of the song with a longer intro. All right, some cameos. We got Good Toys, Pat's Smear of Germs and Foo Fighters fame. Yes, uh, that guy we all see with that long hair dancing. Never knew who that guy was. My friends would always assume it was Giorgio. You remember the 80s singer Giorgio that looked just like Prince and who sung... Tina Cherry and Lover's Lane, and I Don't Want to Be Alone. That's who I thought it was. But it wasn't. It was Pat Smear uh, of the Foo Fighters. He was a friend of Wendy and Lisa's. Um, Pat Smear, I think he uh, was what you call it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I Don't Want to gypsy or uh, uh, I'm not well hey I just know it was Pashmere of the Foo Fighters and Germs and you see him one of my first appearances seeing him playing the guitar when the late uh, Kurt Cobain of Nirvana did that unplug and he's playing that guitar in there so that was him with that long hair and in, in the white in the video. Okay. Appears as one of the background dancers, as they say, according to bandmate Dave Grove. He was nearly fired in 2010. Okay. Yeah, we can elaborate on that. But also, Prince whispers in the bodyguard's ear. The bodyguard said, you can stay. He likes your hair, something like that. It also features the debut of actress Jackie Swanson, who hands Prince the guitar. She is the Raspberry Beret girl. Yeah, Jackie Swanson is best known as Woody Harrison's girlfriend on Cheers. Yeah, uh, as you see. Uh, but... In 80s fame, she is best known as Amanda Huntsacker. Yeah, the girl that first appeared on Lethal Weapon and jumps off, off the balcony. Uh, she, the plot of the movie, surrounded by her death. So that's Jackie Swanson. She's the Raspberry Beret girl. Oh, yeah. And also we have, we have a few other dancers. One girl in particular... 
everybody thought this was a soul trained dancer and everybody thought this was the famous soul trained dancer with the long hair she was in the beat it video uh I didn't do a lot of research on her because she wasn't in this Raspberry Beret video, but everybody knows the Asian dancer or the Filipino dancer, you might recall, that gets her hair yanked back in the Beat It video. That was not her. This was Kimberly Ann Deflin. She, background, she was from Huntington Beach. She was a Huntington Tim Beach resident died. Okay, she died in May of 2011, but her name, she was a break dancer known as Popsicle, who appeared in various TV shows in that era. Sadly, she's no longer with us. All right, this is a story from back in 2014 from Prince Doc Or. Yes. So she is family known as the one in yellow or gold, which you got doing the dance and doing the pop locking with the long hair. Yes. She pursued a professional dancing career, acting career, and she danced on Fame, Merv Griffin, and several other TV shows and commercials. The break dancer was even featured in Prince's music video, Raspberry Beret, as we get it, which won an award for best choreography, specializing in pop lock style dancing. Deflin was responsible for popularizing several moves such as the signature two toes or tut toes. Her most notable acting performers including Rose and Pretty Smart, Hunter, and Who's the Boss. She was especially passionate about giving back to the community. In 2010, definitely awarded as $1,000 Performing Arts Scholarship to aspiring dancer from Huntington Beach. Yes, she was 47 years old at the time she died. She battled 11-year ovarian cancer. Yes, that was, that was sad to know. Um, I always have to correct my siblings and friends that this was not that girl. And some people thought it was Neil Peoples. No, she's no longer with us. She died in 2011, I think May sometime, but it was in 2011. Yes, yeah, so and let's get more into the video, the Raspberry Beret video. Uh, all right. As we know, the song was written by Prince in the Revo revolution for around the world in a day. It has that mid-eastern vibe, string instruments, uh, cymbals, and a harmonica in an extended version. The song was also more in pop vein than before. Yeah. The song tells of a teenager romance, a sexual experience with a girl who wears a raspberry beret, colored beret. The extended version was included in the compilation album Ultimate in 2006. While the song hit number one in Cash Box, it reached number two in the Billboard Hot 100 in the U.S. behind A View to a Kill by Duran Duran. It only reached number 25 in the U.K. singles. Yeah. Um, as we know, this was... This was Prince. It came after, as we know, Purple Rain album. And Raspberry Ray is one of those great songs. But the video is more intriguing. As we look at the video being so colorful, so much full of animation, and we look at those roles, and then we see some of the changes with the revolution and I'm going to chime in particularly on Wendy. Um, the theme I know in this album, Wendy was like Clara Bow, you know, the hairstyle, everything, you know, that gave us Wendy, you know, uh, as we look at the album symbol, we look, look at Prince with the mop top or 
some say the Liza Bonelli hairstyle, but we see where a lot of this is going. Um, it was one of the first Prince big budgeted videos with a lot of different people because the majority of videos at that time was filmed at the Armory. What you see in Purple Rain, these was mostly clips and outtakes and probably filmed at a studio or warehouse or First Avenue, you know, in concert. But most of the videos like Controversy in 1989, I think they was filmed at the Armory, if I'm wrong. So, yeah, we see that Prince was stepping up his game in the video world. And we get a lot of a great animation in Raspberry Beret. Uh, the famous green scene. At that time, it was particularly, you know, good to see something different, something exciting for Prince because Michael Jackson had the videos locked down. But Raspberry Beret was one of those videos that captured the eye. But for us, the atmosphere and the people in the video, that is very interesting to see. Three people that stand out, like I say, Jackie Swanson, Kimberly M, uh, Kimberly, and Deflin, and Pat Smear. Two names that I think some of us know, but one name that in particular is, wow, we just didn't know that this one has pa had passed, but so many Prince fans at that time put it out there over 10 years ago on Prince Doc Art. So, like I said, God rest her soul, she was 47, but to me, she's going to be always known for that Raspberry Beret video, Kimberly Ann Deflin, and Jackie Swanson, Amanda Hunsacker. She is the Raspberry Beret girl. Pat Spirit, the guy with the long hair. Um, Foo Fighters. <laughs> oh, I think I but first seeing them in that Nirvana, uh, I think I forgot that song, but it was the second song off that heart that album, that second Nirvana album or Heart Shaped Box was, I think, the first release. It was that when Kurt Cobain and Nirvana made that Unplugged. That's when I first saw them. So shout out to all of them. And shout out to everybody in the Raspberry Beret music video because it was so exciting. And it was so good, so colorful, and uh, such a great tone. So this is the Purple Act. Ladder speaking, I'm signing off. I want to say peace. God bless. Like, comment, subscribe. God bless you. And I'll see you in another video. Have a great holiday.